Today, I'm going to show you a way to clean up the clutter on your plugin list and share a few tips to help you move through your projects in less time. Hello and welcome back to the Home Studio Simplified channel. My name is Robert and this channel exists to simplify the complexities of the home studio and to help you make professional sounding music in a less than professional space. Now, if you're new here, I'd like to invite you into our community of music lovers and audio engineers of awesomeness. By clicking that subscribe button, you'll become part of the family. And if you'd be so kind as to enable notifications by ringing the bell, you'll also be notified about upcoming giveaways, song contests, and live tutorials. Okay, so today's topic is plugin menus. Now, depending on how many plugins you own, they can get cluttered quickly, making it hard to find what you're actually looking for in a pinch. Although this seems like a relatively minor issue, these small time thieves can actually add up to hours, and the old adage, time is money, definitely applies here. Well, let's start by reclaiming some of that time and build out a plugin menu that makes sense. Likewise, be sure to stick around to the end of this video, and I'll share something that'll save you even more time. Okay guys, so heading over to the desktop now, as you can see, I've got Cakewalk by BandLab opened up here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my head from the screen so that you can actually see the full screen real estate here. But if I was to right click in one of these portions to add an effect, by default, I believe it's already set to plugin layout as being by category. So if I was to look at this now, it's gonna actually arrange them into the category of what they might fall into, but that's based off of what Cakewalk is seeing and not what you might be seeing. Likewise, I can go in here and set this to sort by manufacturer. Now that one might be a little bit easier if you know what you're looking for based off of who the manufacturer of the plugin is. But even then, it's, you can see it's just very cluttered. It's still hard to figure out exactly what you're looking for. And lastly, you have a plugin layout that's sort by type. Now this is probably the worst of all of them because whenever you open it up, it simply just shows you VST3s, VST2s, and DirectX plugins. So this actually causes you to jump through more hoops just to try to find the plugin that you're looking for. So this productivity hack that we're talking about today is actually creating a custom menu layout. And you can do that by going to plugin layouts and manage layouts. Now that's gonna bring up this dialog box here. And because I have it already set to sort by type, that's the plugin menu layout that's gonna come up by default as well. However, I don't wanna do that. I wanna start from scratch. So what I can do is go to create new right here. Now I have a clean slate to work with. And what I can do now is go to my various VST folders, find the plugins that I want, insert a folder, name it accordingly. Maybe I want a folder that's specifically for vocals. Now I can go in here and add a plugin to that folder. And as you can see, it already begins to create a layout for that new menu. Now this can be very time consuming in and of itself as well. So stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna help you out with that. So now let me show you a plugin menu layout that I've already saved myself. And I call this one organized by type. Now the great thing is that you can also set this up to be organized by specific plugin manufacturers. Like say for instance, Kilo Hearts only, only has all of the Kilo Hearts plugins that I own. And yet again, if I go to organize by type, this is sort of my bread and butter. This is the one that saves me so much time. So as you can see here, I've got all of my folders lined out for vocals, for my bass, drums, guitar, reverb. So as you can see here, I've got everything laid out very aesthetically. It's very easy to find things whenever I'm looking for them. If it's something that I predominantly will use on vocals, it's gonna be in the vocals folder. If it's something I predominantly use for a reverb, it's gonna be there. And likewise, when I go to my dynamic section, I can actually set two subfolders in here, two compressors or for limiters. And as you can see, it's just a lot more aesthetic. This helps me to find things so much quicker. So now at any time I can change any of the plugins that are available in these folders, take them out, remove them, add things to them. And then all I simply have to do is click the save button and I can save it as a new menu type with a new name, or I can just overwrite the old one. So now if I go to insert a plugin on the effects bin and right click here now, I can go to plugin layouts and you'll see organized by type is showing up here. Now that it's been selected as my organization type, when I right click in the effects bin, you'll see that I have everything lined out just the way that I did within that plugin menu layout. All 
All right, everyone. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to give this video a like as well as to share it with somebody that you feel like might benefit from its usage. Also, if there's a productivity hack that you have that helps to speed up your workflow, leave that in the comment section down below and let everybody in the community benefit from your knowledge. Sharing is caring. So for those of you who stuck around to the end of the video, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I said I would also share something else that would dramatically speed up your workflow. Well, guess what? I've actually created a template of sorts that you can now download and put that into Cakewalk by BandLab. You can then add your own plugins and arrange that into a way that makes sense to you. From there, you can then save that as your own custom plugin menu layout. Now this is completely customizable, so all of the folder names or where they're at in the hierarchy can also be changed by you. And then you can save that as your own personal plugin menu layout template. So in other words, I've saved you another 30 minutes of time just by creating this for you. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on this template, just head on down to the description of this video. There is a link provided there where you can go and download that and then install it into your plugin menu settings folder. And don't worry, I've made it super easy. In fact, I've included a brief tutorial inside that folder to show you exactly how to get that into your DAW seamlessly. Once again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Remember, we can dream alone, we can create alone, but together we can achieve so much more.